Okay, we've got some good news today. The last couple of posts that I've made have not been so positive. Uh, they've been exploiting uh, some unethical behavior. Uh, today, what I want to do is analyze the, the market of the Central Valley. What I'm going to try to do over the next uh, over the next few months is uh, every week or two come in with a video that, that takes the information that we're getting on uh, somewhat of a macro level, uh, uh, global or national, down to Central Valley. Uh, so uh, specifically, I wanna, I'm going to pull up some data points from Stanislaus County uh, here in Modesto area. And uh, there's some very, very uh, good signs that we haven't seen for a little while. The great news is this, and, and most would not believe this, but since April, we've actually seen a 9% uh, average price improvement. Uh, in April, our average price was $142,000 and we are now up to $156,000 from an average sales price. That's good, that's good news. Um, the other uh, good point is our inventory is low. If you're a buyer, that's very frustrating, believe me, or frustrating, believe me, it's frustrating uh, from a realtor representing buyers, and it's very difficult to get them into homes. From an uh, overall recovery standpoint, though, this is a very good sign in that when we get down to under four and five months, which is a normal market, that's when we start to see that it becomes a seller's market and we start to notice and, uh, and benefit from some appreciation. So we're starting to see that. Um, so that's the good news. We're under two months of, uh, of overall inventory. So if no other homes came on the market, it would only to take two months to clean up what we have right now. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the gray cloud on the horizon, there's a couple. Um, first of all, well, I, I guess not so far out on the horizon right now, we're dealing with appraisal issues. Many times the buyers are willing to pay, and obviously the sellers are willing to accept a price much greater than, uh, than the market, uh, or much greater than list price. The challenge is the appraisers are continually looking at yesteryear's or yestermonth's pricing, and they're bringing those prices down. So we're not quite appreciating as, as well as we would be. Believe me, most homes that are in good condition are receiving offers uh, from anywhere easily 5 and many times 10 to 20% over list price. Uh, but again, over six months, we've only appreciated 9%. Um, but again, that's certainly better than what we've had over the last couple of years. Uh, secondly, if there is some gray, card, gray clouds on the forecast, I've uh, posted yesterday uh, some information about a, another wave of foreclosures being, uh, being on the horizon. Now, we've been told that for the last year, and so many of us in the industry aren't really don't believe that that's going to hit because there's so much pressure on these modifications. I also posted that 20% is the average uh, number of those that are work uh, that are available um, uh, from their lender to have some kind of modification or workout, and 20% are receiving that. Some banks are as high as 40, and 40% of those eligible are having some kind of modification. Um, many would say, well, what about the rest of the 60 to 80% that are not? And that's where this big question of what will happen and how long will banks continue to allow people to stay in their homes without payment before they foreclose on them. At this point, that's some time. Uh, it's not uncommon to hear, and the data suggests about 12 months. Um, six to 12 months is not uncommon uh, before there's even any kind of foreclosure proceedings. So we don't know how that what's going to happen. We do know that it'll be a little more systematic as far as the release. And right now, you know, in real estate, what we know is the now. And the now is pretty good. Uh, rates are good, prices are down, and we've had uh, you know six months of, uh, of average price improvement. Um, there could be still some bumps ahead, uh, but it doesn't look like they're going to be as significant as they've been. I'm going to post this on my blog that I've started, and uh, and and I'll link to it through uh, through Facebook and some of the other social networks. And uh, and then I also have all of these trends for so you, for you analytics uh, or analyticals. I've got uh, this uh, these analytics. Uh, on uh, on a link that I've already put on, and so uh, it will be just below this link uh, for this video, and it just goes into some of the uh, you know the, the number of pending, the number of sold, um, the the price of those that are selling, days on market, etc. And it's all graphical, so uh, you, you know you can analyze and get into it without having to spend uh, you know spend quite a bit of time reading, um, which I I prefer um, visual. So anyways, I uh, hope everyone's doing well. Uh, again, I'll try to keep us posted on uh, what's going on in the local market, and this is just the analysis of me, a realtor here in the area, but uh, that's, that's what we're seeing, and uh, hopefully we'll continue to see some price appreciation.